Hello YouTube, welcome back to Study Money once again. In this online banking video tutorial, we will show you how to transfer funds from your BPI account to other banks. Banks like BDO or Banco de Oro, Union Bank, Metro Bank, PS Bank, Security Bank, and all the other common banks. And this time, we will show you how to transfer funds using the BPI mobile app. And at the time of this video, or at the time that this video was created, this feature has not been made available yet for the desktop site. So, kung hinahanap nyo to when you log in using your laptop or your computer, um, at the time of this writing, you know, hindi pa siya available. But if you have the mobile app installed in your phone, then this is going to help you transfer funds from your BPI account to other bank accounts. So I, f I hope that you find this video helpful and if you're new to this channel, support us by subscribing and liking this video. So first of all, all you need to do is to have downloaded the BPI mobile app from the Play Store for Android phones and the App Store for iPhones. And once you've downloaded that, you will need to install the app. And after you've done that, you can now access your BPI account using your username and your password. So, provided you have done that, upon logging in, okay, you will need to locate the top left portion of the app. So, itong pinakataas na to, so you will see these three red stripes, okay? So, you need to tap that. And once you tap that, you will see various various options transfers payments or load investments account maintenance other services fingerprint login quick links info contact bpi or logout and in this scenario you will need to click on transfers so it's below my account and once you've clicked that or tapped that then you will see sub options transfer money and load prepaid card so obviously you will need to transfer money and once you've done that okay you will then see this page where it will ask you which account would you like to transfer from so for those of you who have other accounts or many accounts in one account name then you will need to select so click mo yan or tatap mo yan and in this scenario i have a couple of accounts here present and i'll choose this one at the top okay and then at the bottom it will ask you to nominate an amount and so for this example we'll choose 500 pesos okay and we hit enter and then right below it it will ask you or it will ask for you to choose which accounts you would like to transfer to transfer to own account this is if you would like to transfer to your own bpi account transfer to third party so i think this is only applicable for bpi to bpi third party accounts and then last option is transfer to another bank so you will need to tap this or select this and now if you scroll down a little bit more it will ask you to select a bank okay so you will need to select um, which bank account you would like to transfer money to so in this example we will choose to transfer or send money to a BDO account or a Banco de Oro account and typically uh, a BDO account has 12 digits so we'll try to look for that so as you can see here, there's All Bank, AUB or Asia United Bank, Bank of Commerce, and there's BDO Unibank Inc. Okay, so tap that, and then hit OK. And at the time of this recording, so hindi pa available yung PesoNet, and what's available is Instapay. So typically, my charge yung Instapay based on my experience with my Union Bank account. But I guess um, for now, since PesoNet isn't available, then Instapay is the only option that we have. And I think that it doesn't charge anything right now. So as you can see here, it says transfer fee is zero and shall be deducted from your account. So anyway, 
moving on along um, once you've selected the bank account you will need to enter the account number of the recipient so always make sure that the account number that you put in is accurate and complete okay so especially if you're going to pay for things then you better make sure that you have the right and correct information and after you've put the bank account then you will need to type the recipient's name okay so I'm typing it now and once you've done that then you need to scroll down and you have the option to uh, put in notes okay so if this is for a payment for a certain type of purchase then you better indicate it especially if you're paying for multiple purchases so this is a payment for this this is a payment for that etc etc and so for this example we'll hit next and then it's going to bring you to this page where it's going to ask for you to confirm or verify certain details so if you feel that th these details are already correct then okay you just hit select or you hit I agree to the terms and conditions of this transaction and if you would like to read more then you tap this portion okay so these are the terms and conditions so we're not going to go through all of that right now I'm just showing you this for the purposes of this video so I'll hit back and then you make sure that you put a check mark on I agree to the terms and conditions of this transaction and then you hit confirm so once you've hit confirm it's going to ask for an OTP or a one-time pin that's going to be sent to your mobile phone number so click that or tap that send me the code and it's going to send me a text um, for the OTP there you go so type that in cha okay and then we hit submit all right so as you can see your transfer money was successful and you will also have a copy of this I think sent to your email all right and guys I hope that you found this video helpful and if you do please subscribe to this channel hit the like button and if you have any friends that need help on doing this then share this video as well and as always I'll see you in the next tutorial See ya.